Hi everyone, so it's finally here. This is the week. We hope that we're gonna actually finally get a chance to vote on Theresa May's botched, flailing, useless steal. Um, we should have been here well over a month ago and I have been so frustrated that it's taken this long, but here we are. It is an, a momentous week. Uh, I can tell you over the weekend, it was all I was thinking about. Thank you so much to all of you who sent in, you know, emails and Twitter and Facebook messages saying good luck. Um, I definitely, and I'm sure all parliamentarians definitely feel the weight of history on our shoulders. This week isn't though just about the deal. It's also going to be about, is Jeremy Corbyn actually going to table that motion of no confidence? We'll have to wait and see. So far, uh, they've been reticent to, but I just don't think that the government is going to get weaker than it is this week. This is the moment. And if the Labour Party don't, then I think there are serious questions about what and how they want to achieve what they're going to achieve. And are they actually going to now move on to back a people's vote with us? Meanwhile, you know, the momentum is growing and we are now at the point where we've got draft legislation for a people's vote that's been put forward uh, by a cross-party group uh, drafted initially by the Liberal Democrats. We've um, got now that, that growing support in the public and I really think that this is the moment where we, we deliver on the people's vote because as flawed as this deal may be, it is the only one on the table. There are no unicorn deals out there and the right thing to do is to put it back to the people with the option to remain in the EU because it's so blindingly obvious that that is now the thing that is going to give us the certainty that the country needs. So take heart everyone, thank you for your words of support and just know that we're there fighting together, fighting our cause. Uh, I'll see you on the other side.